There are over 350,000 people in the UK that have come for asylum reasons. It is very important for a country to provide protection for people escaping conflict and war, but it's also very important for them to be successful once they are here in the United Kingdom. What happens when they come here? What type of jobs do they get? How much money do they make? How do they find their jobs? This is what we look at. So we want to know how the working lives of this specific group of people changes over time, 5, 10, 20 years after their arrival into the country. We've used data from the UK Labour Force Survey and using this kind of information, we're able to distinguish asylum migrants from other migrants. One of the key findings of the study is that only half of those who came for asylum reasons are working at the moment. And these are people who have been 10, 20, 30 years in these countries. Also, once they have a job, they tend to earn less than those born in the UK and other migrants. People who came for asylum reasons tend to start their own businesses. They are also more likely to employ someone else. Only 20% of people on average go to job centers for asylum migrant, the share is twice as much. There's evidence that job centers lead to jobs that are paid less. One key finding is that the physical and mental health of asylum migrants is worse than that of other migrants and the UK born. This is not surprising given that asylum migrants are more likely to come from countries that face violence, and persecution. If we care about asylum seekers and refugees and how they integrate into the UK, not only for their own good, but also for the good of the society, we need to think about jobs, we need to think about pay, but we also need to think about health. We're talking about people that have been in the country for 20, 30 years, accepting them in the first place. It's a humanitarian gesture, but we shouldn't just uh, stop there. 